Oh, so I'm not sure how this video is going to go. I have to do it on my iPad. I've mislaid my tripod, so I can't do a, a decent video. It's a, it's a wet, blustery day here, so I thought maybe I'll get round to this video I've been meaning to do for a long time to follow up what I did with my Rickenbacker 330. So a year or so ago, I did a video sort of showing my disappointment with the sound of a Rickenbacker. Um, it had the stock um, pickups in, which are the, they call it, they call them the humbucker toasters. So they're um, a higher output pickup than I was expecting. And the sound to me was a bit dull and, um, yeah, a bit dull really, and not trebly enough and jangly enough. And so the video was, where's the jangle? So I tracked down some pickups from Creamery, um, 63, uh, mid 63 pickups um, with a lower output and had them installed. And this is the video to show what that sounds like. Basically, I'm really happy with the results. It's a much more trebly sound, much more jangly, much more what I was looking for. Um, and so it has helped me really appreciate the instrument a bit more. I think on reflection, a lot of the sounds that I hear thinking that they were Rickenbackers for maybe the mid 60s and the jam and people like that, they weren't always Rickenbackers. They were often Telecasters. And um, I have a Telecaster and I do like the um, that spiky um, direct sound you can get with a Tele. Um, so still getting to grips with the Rickenbacker, loving the pickups, and I can really recommend the Creamery 63s if you want to get something a bit more authentic from that mid-60s sound. So the amp is the AC30, which I used in the first video. Um, probably around the same kind of settings, but probably not exactly spot on, and the mic may not have been exactly in the same spot on the speaker. So I hope comparing the two videos you can see the difference or hear the difference. I certainly can, um, and I'm much happier. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you.